Penguins in. Rolling around the board. Kusarov trying to pinch in and get it. He got it on the near side. And Tony McKegney throw it to the near corner for Matt Sundin. Sundin behind him at the Saki. Good play. Center in front for McKegney, but he can't find it. Left point to Sean Anderson. Big slap shot coming up. Six save May. Rebound. Where is it? Gillen's got it up the doorstep. And he clears to the blue line, but not out. Kusarov. Over on the left side to Joe Saki. Saki wheel and deal to the left point now to Gusarov. Will he shoot it? No. He goes back left side to Saki. Right wing pass over to Sean Anderson. Drills and scores. Sean Anderson gets the goal. Matt Sundin is hit not once but twice. And now Bob Airy is going to get another penalty. Now Tavi Nelly knocked down Sundin after the goal was scored. And then Bob Airy came in and needlessly whacked him. Now the goal scored by Sean Anderson. Well, you remember when Randy Gillen got the puck? Um, anyway, what I was saying was Randy Gillen tried to clear the puck off the doorstep and didn't get it out. And the Nordiques had another crack at moving the puck around. Right side over to Larry Murphy. Now McCook at a coffee. Back on the right side of Recky. Recky pushes in the corner for Kevin Stevens. Stevens to the wrecking ball. And Recky of Pittsburgh looks to the right point. He has Murphy. He skates over. Right away center point area. Goes to coffee down the left side. Back to Murphy. Wide open. A slap shot. Score! Deflected in by Stevens. And the Penguins have tied the game in one. Look out, Loretta. Murphy got it right down low where you wanted, and Stevens got the stick on it. And Tugnut was helpless. The Penguins score a power play goal in time of the game. And that gives Kevin Stevens the lead in terms of goal scoring in the Penguins. It's 26th of the year. He just got that stick down. It looked like it was going to be a clear lane to the net, and it was for Murphy, but Stevens right there to get a piece of it. Tugnut would have been easily able to make that save on Murphy had Stevens not been there to deflect it. But just a beautifully executed play by Murphy and Stevens. Nobody near Kevin Stevens. He just got that wand down and steered it into the net past Tugnut. So the Penguin left with six or seven now in the league in that department. Ripped back into the Nordiques in by Pittsburgh. Bob Airy went after a left wing board down to Lemieux. Over to Recky. Wrist shot right now. Score! The wrecking ball gets it by Tugnut and the Penguins take the lead. Two to one. And yes, 66 is back. He just set up the wrecking ball and the Penguins have the lead. Two to one. Oh, hallelujah, Hollywood. Yep, Mario Lemieux's name is back on the score sheet. Came out of the corner with a guy draped on him and got it out to Recky, who shot it past Velischek and off Tugnut. And Tugnut looked exactly like something. he was swimming in the, in the crease looking for that puck. He was on his, he was doing the breaststroke, trying to find the, the biscuit, the pearl, but it was in the net. So the Penguins, Mark Recky. Gillis steps into the Penguins and drop pass to LaSalle. LaSalle with a wrist shot, stop. Penguins will turn and come back on the counterattack. And Recky, with a burst of speed, looks for 66, and he's got him into the Nordiques in. Lemieux down the slot, looks, put it in front. Deflected in. The Penguins have scored another goal, and they lead 3-1. to one. As Lemieux sets up Bob Mary. Oh, by Sam, a drink and get his dog 1-2. Bob Mary gets the goal. Well, Mario had to go up and down the ice a couple of times on that shift, and his second time down, you could see just gaining more confidence, wanting to carry that puck, wanting to carry players with him. And he threw it to the net. He drew two Nordiques over his way in area, as usual, going to the net and ended up in it with the puck. Here's Lemieux now setting up area as he cut in towards the goal, and he just deflected it in by Tugnut. So Lemieux is assisted on both Penguin goals here in the second period. Lasted only 12 minutes as the Penguins scored four times against him. And Pearson now putting the puck in front of the Penguin net. That's cut off. And looked ahead. Back down into uh, Quebec territory. Dugna turns it around to the near corner. LaPointe took a check on Herdina. He put it behind the goal. Still loose in front. Bork trying to get to it. Herdina will. He's right there. He shoots and scores. Yuri Herdina makes it 4-1 to one, Pittsburgh. And Tugna didn't know whether to cry or wind his watch on that shot. He watched Herdina right in front and he knew he was going to have a great chance, and he just blistered it over his left shoulder, it appeared, and the Penguins have a 4-1 lead. Yeah, Erdina had him dead to rights, and the puck was lying there for a long time, and Phil Bork didn't go, he didn't know where it was. He finally reached for it and ended up just staying where it was, and Erdina stepped in, took his time, found the spot he wanted, and buried it. It's a good line. Yager, Erdina, and Bork. There they are, right there. By the way, Brian Fogarty, another first-round right. pick. He was just sent down to them. Yeah, down to the minors. Here's Lafleur off the right side. They need some leadership here in Quebec. Sisson now will give a center point to Lafleur. Booming shot off the stick of Wendell Young. 
Three seconds to go on the Penguin penalty to Gordy Roberts. And Coffey trying to tie up uh, one of the Nordiques that comes in front. LaFleur is there. He shoots and scores. Guy LaFleur gets the goal. And the Nordiques make it 4-2. to two. It will not be a power play goal. Roberts had just returned to the ice. And Guy LaFleur leaving him alone in front of that net. In days past, it would have almost definitely been a goal every time. But he does get this one by Wendell Young. The flower. He had all day to shoot that one. Snapped it right between his legs. You know what happened? He didn't take his time either. I mean, he got rid of it in such a, a hurry, maybe a little bit quicker oh. than Wendell Young anticipated, but he's still able to fire it in. And LaFleur gets the goal at 157. It's so hard for a goaltender to have any favor in a leg or a groin muscle right now, I can tell you that. Here on the left wing is Recky again back into the Nordiques. In drop pass to Lemieux. Look out. Lemieux comes in. Drop it back to Murphy. Murphy takes off deep down the near side. With Lemieux on this power play, the Penguins will have an absolutely incredible power play unit. Lemieux, right side, as if it wasn't good enough already. Copy shooting, scoring, deflected in, I believe, by John Cullen. And the Penguins have made it 5 2. And ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has just left the building. John Cullen, I believe, gets the power play goal. Talk about passing. Whew. Coffey laying that shot down low again, right along the ice, so that Cullen could work with it on the deflection, and he was wide open again in front of the net, just like Stevens was earlier. So Cullen put the defense, and he can't do that. You see so many young players come in the league, even the, the big number one choices, Paul, try and split those defensemen. They can do it. Junior Coffey back in the middle of the right there, has it. He shoots and scores, and he beat Tottenham. And the Penguins have a 6-2 lead. Oh, he was just helpless in front. And he pulled the whip out and started beating on him before he even shot the puck. He must have hit him a half dozen times, slowed the mule down, and then bang. That's what you call roofing it, too. Well, he didn't roof it either. He shot it to the far side of the net inside the post. I thought he went upstairs with it. He was at a very sharp angle and put it inside the far post. At that point, oh. Tugnut wants to go outside. Coffee that was by Herdina. Boy, how did he know that Yager was there behind him? Maybe he yelled. Maybe. Yager again check. on the Nordiques in. Yardy. Yarmer now. <laughs> trying to throw it in front of the net. He does. Sundin back checking. Made the play to clear it ahead. Sackey got a breakaway chance. Sackey comes in on goal. His shot. He scores. Joe Sackey went right upstairs on Wendell Young. Right in front of the crossbar. And a goal scorer can do that effortlessly. And Sackey did that. Make it 6-3. That's roofing it. Sundin with a great pass up ice. Sackett with a nice move to the backhand, and he just put it up there with authority on the backhand against Wendell Young. He came with speed, too, which makes it very difficult for the goaltender. He came in there at top speed to make that play. Sackett's 27th of the year on a breakaway. Sundin, I believe, will have the only assist. Hit on the play on the far side by... Here's Lemieux breaking back. He centers over Recky. He can't shoot it, and Tugnut had gone down. He's getting a little gun shy right now, Ron Tugnut. The Nordiques come to center ice. They trail by three. Drop pass to Hop. A slap shot. Score. Make it 6 4. Mike Hop on a booming slap shot. To make it a 6 4 hockey game with 4.47 to go in regulation time. He cranked that one up. E. LaFleur looked off and just threw it across right on the tape, too, for Huff. And he blew it past Wendell Young in the glove side. E. LaFleur wasn't even looking when he made that pass. He looked, he peeked, and then he looked down at the puck, and then he moved it over to Huff. Good slap shot by Huff. It was pretty hot. Been scoring with regularity lately. 15 13, the time on the goal by Mike Head, again back to the Nordiques line. Gillis will work it back for Craig Wallanich. Lennon delivers it to Paul Gillis. Gillis with a cross rink pass to Sean Anderson. Anderson scooting quickly to the Penguins. In Tandy's all over him. Goes to Sundin. A shot score. Wow. 6 5. Matt Sundin from 45. And the Nordiques are back within one with 2.23 to go. Seventeen thirty-seven. the time of the goal by Matt Sundin. He just got all of them.
Sullivan and just blasted it by one Leon, who went down on the play. And Sundin cashes in. The Nordiques have scored. After the Penguins led 6-2, they've scored the last three goals. 14-32 in three minutes and five seconds. Sundin is 14th. And would Bob Johnson call a timeout right now? They're out here. Saki being pressured by Gillen. Saki now turns, and he had a poke checked away by Phil Bork. Back in behind the Penguin net. 12 seconds to go. Huff now giving the puck to Sundin. He tries to set up LaFleur. He can't do it. Seven to go. Off the corner. The Nordiques have it around the net. Saki trying to get it to LaFleur. Three. In behind the net. They'll never score. It'll be over. They shoot him, and it's over. It's over. The horn sounds here. On to the feet. Go back, Nordiques. And a wild one to say the least here in Quebec City. <laughs> Bob Johnson won't change ties, but he got a couple more gray hairs tonight.